Hey guys, Skippy here with you again with another tutorial. I've been promising you guys a base tutorial, so I finally got around to doing it. I do have my multiplayer map where we do have a lot of supplies, a lot of materials. Uh, so we've been doing well on this map, and it's about time I built a separate little base uh, on this map to fight zombies on. Uh, now this design is, guys, keep this in mind, this design is something you use... Uh, as a more of an end game thing where you actually attract the zombies where you want to attract them and you want to keep them in a certain area uh, this base is a little more difficult to get right off the bat uh, but I do recommend a either having a main base or B having a base set up in a POI or something somewhere something that you don't really care about and making this one your permanent base uh, but without further ado guys uh, the things you're gonna need uh, before you even start tackling this is you're gonna need your your skills your uh, concrete and your steel skills. So uh, define those if you guys don't have them yet. If you go to your skills and you work your way over to uh, tools and traps, uh, concrete mixing you can learn and steel smithing you can learn. I do believe they both require 40, um, 40 level 40 construction tools. Uh, I know that's true of the steel. I, I don't remember off the top of my head for the cement mixing. Uh, but make sure you guys have those first uh, before attempting this. Uh, but what we're actually going to be building, and uh, if you guys are wondering too, this is my multiplayer map on Twitch. If you guys haven't followed yet, uh, come check me out. Twitch.tv slash Skippy0330. I actually broadcast off this map and uh, some random viewers come on. Uh, but that's it guys, that's the little fort we're going to be building over there. Uh, it may be tiny guys, but uh, as they say, the best things come in small packages. Um, you can build this to any size you want. Um, but yeah guys, without further ado, uh, let's get into making this sucker and uh, I'll see you there. Okay guys, so uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, protect your area here a bit so it gives you a little bit of warning while you're uh, down and digging in the pit uh, so you don't find a bear surprise or a zombie horde coming upon you without any warning uh, but uh, once you've got your uh, spikes laid out this design you can do any any size you want we're gonna be doing a 15 by 15 design uh, you can make the spike area bigger if you want to you can make it smaller you can make the main base bigger you can make it smaller it's all up to you I'll just show you the basics of it in the 15 by 15 design uh, just always remember guys make what make it an odd number never make it an equal equal number because with the odd number you'll always have a pole on each corner and it's always easier to build to an odd numbers uh, back from the minecraft days that's one of the first things I learned uh, but what you're gonna need here is you're gonna need concrete mix uh, depending on all the sizes too that's gonna change right uh, you're gonna need steel uh, you're also gonna need um, some iron bars to go around the top uh, some ramps and some rebar frame and some wood sp uh, like log spikes and some springs to make uh, vault hatch hatches to get in and out of the base uh, and you also need for your raw supplies um, some iron and also uh, some wood. So once you've got that all together, uh, you're good to go with the base. Uh, okay, uh, so what I want to do is obviously I want to level out a uh, 15 by 15 area. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use my frames to mark out the area. Uh, in order to do that quickly, uh, what I'm going to do, if I can go into the right chest, is grab a new stack, a stack of 500 frames. That way if I lay down 15, uh, I know it. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So I'm gonna I'm gonna roughly lay this out here. Um, you don't need to really punch out the grass. You can place the frames inside of it, but anything like stone or or the uh, little tiny shrub bushes, you you actually have to punch out or pick up. Uh, but there we go. So let's go 15 here. Okay, so there we go. We got 15. Uh, that brings us down to 485. So uh, we want to go another uh, 14 uh, from this point because this one counts as 15 here. So one, two. Okay, cool. So now you got your uh, 15 by 15 area. So uh, always make sure, two guys, you double count before you make any uh, any changes. Uh, so in order to do that, I'm going to just do one more side here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, there's one of those bushes I was talking about. Let's smack that. 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, now this side should line up with that side. And it doesn't. Okay, well, my count was thrown off there somehow, but uh, I know that side's 15. Uh, so once you got your area marked out here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, cool. Yeah, we just went off on this side. Uh, but I definitely knew that was because I laid 15 down and I was left with 485. So <laughs> there we go. Um, if you're bad at math like I am, uh, I, I'm not that bad at math. I just really detest counting. That's what I do is I just, I use piles. Like sometimes I'll even like split stuff up. Let's say I need to go uh, 50 blocks. Instead of like counting them all manually, what I do is I just make a stack of 50 of them, put that stack into my inventory and lay them down, and then when I know I run out, I've gone 50 blocks. So that's another helpful hint as well too. Uh, but what you want to do now is you want to actually dig this down uh, four blocks uh, from this radius. Uh, so what I'm going to do is start in the corner here and uh, dig myself a couple blocks down. Uh, that way I have a marker and come out uh, this way, just like that. Cool, and then we'll go to the other corner and place a marker there and then do the same for the other corner. Uh, and then once I'm done that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, um, a four block pit. I'm gonna follow around where the frames are and go four blocks down. And uh, once I've done that, guys, I'll catch up to you and I'll show you how to uh, make a pit really quickly and easily. Okay, cool. Uh, now that you've got that done, you should have something that looks like this. Just a, a four deep pit all the way around in a 15 by 15 square. Uh, now what I've done is I've chewed up a little bit of a corner here to get back up. Uh, one big hint too, guys. If you do have zombies incoming, uh, ramp your way up or frame your way up uh, just like this out into the pit uh, to get yourself out of danger. Or um, just dig your way up really quickly, especially if you have an auger. That's, that's not too bad. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and we're going to clear out this area here. Um, now, I have been using the auger because I do have one, but you can do this with a shovel uh, quite quickly as well. Uh, but you want to start here with a little bit of a corner so you have an area to, uh, to duck away from because this will kill you if you're underneath it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go at the bottom layer, uh, just go one layer back like this and keep digging in. Uh, what we're basically going to do is use the physics to our advantage and actually just cave the whole pit in. It actually is quite quick. Um, I'll get one cave in going here for you guys and then I'll finish clearing out the pit with the auger. I'm just not going to use the auger while recording just because it is incredibly loud. Uh, for those who have the auger, you guys know what this what it sounds like. So you don't want to hear, hear me trying to teach you over top of that. Uh, but here we go. So keep digging and digging and digging until you finally get a collapse whenever that may happen. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Uh, see how that collapse happened and how I came into this corner? I avoided any of that dirt falling on top of me. And now you just have this little bit here to clean up instead of having to dig this pit out from uh, bottom to top. Uh, so I'm going to finish uh, digging this pit out here, guys, and I'll see you in one second. Okay, we're back. So we got the uh, pit roughly dug out here, all nice and neat. Uh, another thing too guys, a uh, big tip if you're using the auger, uh, you can actually improve your lifespan of your auger uh, by using it like a gun. So instead of holding your button down and just firing it like crazy, uh, fire it like, like a gun, just like that. Um, and it'll actually use less gas and it'll actually do less damage to the auger. If you keep it running, you actually miss a lot of cycles um, in between the ground breaking. So it does save you in the long run uh, to do it that way. Uh, but moving on, uh, what you want to do now is you actually want to get your frames out. So um, now what I decided to do is the inside of the base is going to be 9x9. Nine nine. Uh, the whole entire outside is going to be 15x15. 15 15. Uh, so what I want to do is go 1, 2, 3 blocks in and see the 3 blocks from this side. One, two, three blocks in from that side. So one, two, three. Oops, did I miss one? I did. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna take these out here as well too. Uh, this is how Skippy does math, guys. Uh, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. So I should have three on this side. I uh, do. That is excellent. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is build this little frame up until I get to the uh, surface of the ground and then uh, 
Uh, here we go. Okay, perfect. Uh, now remember too, guys, be very careful, especially if you're using the auger. The auger attracts a lot of attention from zombies, and you could ha end up with a screamer or a screamer horde, or a lot of trouble while you're in a pit. So always make sure you have an easy way out. Always make sure your frames are in your inventory so that you can quit switch to them fast and get the fuck out of the pit. Uh, but cool, guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this up, and I'm going to build it up so that it meets the surface level here, and uh, I'll be back in one second. See what I mean? I got some zombies to deal with now. <laughs> I can hear them. Where are they at? Where are they at? I can hear it! Where are these mystery dogs? Hmm. Oh, they're down here. Oh, shit! See what I mean? This could be very bad, guys. Never get stuck in this pit, especially with dogs. Dogs are really bad. Okay, come here, pup. Come here. Oh, missed. <laughs> uh, when I'm going to actually... Oh, I don't have my... Uh, I should have my crossbow on me. I can take care of this dog. Don't know. There we go. Lay down. Double tap to make sure. And he's dead. Okay, cool. Well, I'm going to finish building this pit, guys. And uh, I'll see you in a second once I'm finished that. Oh, shit. I got even more. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys once this all madness is over. Oh! It's just a running horde. Okay, cool. All right, well, I'll see you guys in a second here, all this excitement. Okay, cool. So I'm up at the top here. Uh, now, uh, I guess you could make this bottom part out of wood or anything else you wanted. Uh, but I don't dig around. Just make it out of concrete, guys. It's, it's just easier. Um, by this point in time, like, we have our main base and we're making this type of base. Uh, you can make this type of base right away. Make, like, take over a POI or something and build this nearby. Um, I'm kind of doing it in my Let's Play series. And uh, once again, too, guys, I have to apologize if there's any weird edits in this uh, video because uh, my Elgato has been giving me a hard time lately it just all of a sudden cuts out so I'm hoping and crossing my fingers it doesn't do it in the middle of the recording uh, but moving on from that uh, we've got this uh, so our next step now is a wee bit more digging uh, what you want to do is you actually want to uh, go around the outside one layer down the entire outside like this and uh, put down um, a row of uh, rebar frames this is uh, so you can actually hold on to the material uh, for the spikes so it doesn't actually like because uh, dirt won't hold much so you don't want the dirt holding it all up uh, so go around the outside and do another layer of rebar and also too while you're doing that I do recommend taking some of your uh, concrete um, I'm gonna take a few because I already have some on me oops if I, if I grab it up here uh, take your concrete and once you have your concrete, uh, inspect it, go to your recipes, and start making yourselves up a bunch of quarter concrete blocks. You're going to want to make a bunch of these suckers. Uh, so they do take a little while, so it's a good thing to start uh, while you're doing the edge. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and finish that up. And what I'm also going to do too is uh, we'll go down in the bottom and uh, fill, fill this in here uh, so that we can get the first layer on. And then start filling it all in, and uh, we're moving right along. See you guys soon. Okay, so now that I have that all uh, dug out and done, uh, you should have something that looks a lot like this, all the edges all done here. Uh, now, this is why I told you guys to start building this without filling in the frames yet, because I was a little bit off in my measurements. Oops, I did not mean to pick that up. Um, I was a little bit off in my measurements, and I actually had to go out one further this way. So always double check, guys, before you start filling in your blocks, because uh, once you got them filled in like this, you might end up, end up punching out a bunch of concrete. You really don't want to do that. Uh, so I did check this way. I'm going to double check this way. Uh, it should be nine blocks on the inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we're good. And three on each side here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I'm confident uh, that my layout is exactly right. Um, it's all odd numbers. I can make this pit six out if I want to, just support it underneath at uh, certain points. Uh, instead of going like six across, you're gonna have to go like three across and then put in a, um, a support every now and then. But uh, this, for ease sakes, we're just gonna do it three by three, and then you can incorporate the wood spikes on the outside of this base as well too to back up the wooden ones on the inside. Uh, so, what you want to do is you want to start designing the bottom layer of your base. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to come one, two, three, four, and I, li I like to make all my doors right in the middle. So you should have four on each side. Uh, so I'm going to take out the bottom two, uh, one, two, three, four, on each side, just like this. There we go. These ones here. 
If you count from the inside, it's uh, only three in, so that might be a little bit easier. Uh, but there you go. I'd like to have entrances on all sides. Now you can decide, oh, well, okay, I'm going to make a small room in here. Uh, you know, that's actually probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a small small rooms right in here just like this. So I'm going to fill in this space. Uh, you don't really need to put the small rooms in. Like The, the inside is completely up to you. You just want to make sure that you have a, a lot of support on the inside of the thing so it doesn't collapse in on you, right? Uh, so there we go. Uh, uh, I'll make this door right here too. Cool. Maybe actually uh, I'll make this uh, more open and just put a support here uh, instead of making another room. Uh, like I said, the, the inside of this guy is, is completely up to you for the layout. So there we go. And then one over that way. Cool. So that is the, uh, the top layer there. And uh, this room here, I'm going to put all my forges and stuff in it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just put a center pole. Uh, you know what? This uh, there. You also need to put in one center pole to get yourself up and down. So this is the pole your ladder is going to be attached to. Uh, so what I'd like to do with this one is actually bring it up taller. Uh, so just make sure that your center pole that goes up and down the layers from the roof down to the basement is uh, semi in the middle. You don't need to nail it right in the middle, but um, it'll make your building a little bit more aesthetic. Uh, so now uh, you're happy with your design, you got it going, you're like, okay, well, what do I do next? Uh, make sure that you have both wood and concrete, of course, in your inventory, and then you can go ahead and start filling in all these frames. Uh, so what I'm going to do is actually do them in small areas like this. I'm sorry about the loudness of this tool, guys. Um, I recommend at least doing this with a hammer. Uh, if you don't have a hammer yet, I really wouldn't attempt it. Make sure you got a hammer or a nail gun to do this or it, it's going to take forever on you. Uh, what you also want to do too, because this is the first floor, is actually fill in your floor as well too as you're going along, just like this. Um, you can actually fill up the top floor first and do the entire top and then drop down and do the sides. It's completely up to you. Uh, but once again, uh, I'm going to put my ladder on this side of this tower. Uh, so I'm going to leave a block out right here and this is where I'm going to put my, uh, my uh, ladder up and down. Right in there. So I'm going to fill up the top of this guys and then I'm going to fill it all in. And once I have it all filled in, I'll see you guys up in a minute here and uh, this will be all, all finished up. All right, so we got it all filled in here, all the blocks all nice and filled in, all done. Uh, our next step, uh, now remember how I told you guys to make those, uh, oops, I actually should not take those out of my inventory, because like I was saying, you should keep them in there so you can get in and out quickly. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and get your concrete uh, quarter blocks that you made. And what you want to do is you want to take them and you want to run them across the top. What these are going to do is support your spikes and allow you to repair them from underneath. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that, just like that. Uh, now it doesn't really matter which side of the block you choose, you just have to remain that way all the way across, or you'll get a wide enough, uh, wide enough gap that you'll fall into it while doing it. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, these corners can get a little bit trickier. I can take these out now that I have these in here. Uh, what I recommend doing for the corners is I kind of do a, a tapered design. So I'll go three and then two and then one, uh, just like this. Come on, get over there. There we go. Two there, one there, and then I'll go ahead and turn it and go like this right across. A little bit awkward, but uh, you guys will get the placement over time. It's pretty easy. Okay, cool. So there you go. So this is what you want to do all the way around. You just kind of want to go like this and, and fill it in. Uh, try to avoid any uh, any gaps where you end up with like uh, this on the opposite side of the block. Uh, so you don't get that one weird space. Uh, you want to do this right away too so that you don't have zombies falling into your pit now. Uh, you, can, you can avoid that happening, uh, having to deal with them all the time doing that. Uh, the pits we built on that thing are huge and we kept having hordes walk into them when we were building them and stuff. It was quite the challenge. Uh, but once you do get it done, it's quite worth it. So I'm going to get this all done up here, guys, and uh, I'll see you in a second once this is uh, complete. Okay, cool. Now that we've got that done, I also want to note, too, if you have any areas along the outside that have, like, little dents in them where you accidentally went too far on it or whatnot, uh, definitely go and fill those in with dirt or shove a frame or something in there. Uh, you don't want the zombies falling into these one spots and then attacking your base from the side. Uh, but what now you need to concentrate on is you need to start making, if you don't have them yet, uh, your wood logs. Uh, so you can actually find those under uh, tools traps. Uh, you'll have to upgrade them here later. 
uh, where are we here? Wood log spikes. So make up a bunch of those. Uh, and while you're making, oh wait, before you make those, I'm sorry, uh, go to your uh, concrete mix, go to recipes, and start making up yourself some uh, concrete pillar 50s. Uh, you're going to need a bunch of these. Uh, we're going to go about three high all the way around the outside right here. Uh, and then we're going to place our spikes on top of here. So once you have those uh, on the way, they do take a few minutes to make. Uh, also make your spikes after them. So when you're placing the pillars, uh, you're making the spikes as well too. It's all about time management in this game. Uh, also too, uh, while you're at it, you may want to place a ladder to get up and down from your base. And I'm also going to finish this up. Oh, I don't have any more. I have to go get some more concrete. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and wait for those uh, concrete pillars to start going, guys. i get my inventory figured out a little bit more here, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have a few of these uh, pillars made, uh, what you want to do, uh, you can hop jump these things. Whoa, <laughs> I actually fell right off. Uh, now, if you do fall off too, another easy thing you can do is just hop up a couple frames. And uh, that'll give you the appropriate height you need to get that third layer up there. Uh, so once you have that layer up there, you can just look at the sides of them and then just continue one, two, three, all the way down to the end and all the way around the outside. Uh, so once I've got that done, guys, uh, we'll meet up once again. It's a, pr a pretty fairly quick process, so this should be a nice easy video and a quick video for you guys. I'm trying to make it as short as possible. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, cool. Now that you've got that done, uh, you should have something that looks like this. Uh, now these poles are only concrete, they're not the top tier. Uh, so what you want to do now also too is go along and upgrade these all to um, reinforced concrete uh, by once again using the concrete mix to upgrade them and uh, let them set. And then once you do have that done, uh, what you want to do is grab your rebar frames, hop on up and uh, make yourself a frame around the outside and then upgrade this frame as well too when you're upgrading those. Uh, so that way you have a fully supported outside and then uh, we'll do the, the roof and uh, do a little bit more on the inside here. See you guys up in a second once I have accomplished that. Alright, so now that we got that done, uh, what we have left is uh, the ceiling here. So uh, what you can do, do is choose to fill in the ceiling. Um, of course, I'm going to want to put the ladders, um, I should actually get some ladders in now, I made a few here. Uh, so we'll put the ladders up and the ladders down, just like this, there we go, and then put one here. Uh, now you might, may want to put some uh, more walls on the inside, maybe, uh, maybe around here, maybe a couple more support poles, I think that would look cool. Yeah, I'm going to throw a couple more support, whoop, I teleported somehow, how'd that happen? That was weird. <laughs> Well, I guess I can put my ladders in here now that I'm down here. There we go. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, try that again. Don't know what was happening there, but... Oh, that's really weird. Why is that happening there? Yeah, well, it is what it is. Uh, but yeah, put in a couple more poles here, maybe. Uh, that's just for extra support. I'm always paranoid about collapses, so <laughs> uh, that's how I do. And then, of course, you leave that one block space so you can get up to the top layer of your base. And here you go. Cool. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm going to fill in this entire top here, and uh, once again, guys, I'll see you in a quick second. Okay, now that I've got that done, I've actually had to drop down here and grab some more supplies. Uh, you want to go ahead and grab your uh, ramp frames, these ones here, uh, the ones that are at an angle, because uh, this is what we're going to do the uh, layer of um, iron bars around. And we actually may as well grab those too while we're down here. There we go, grab those iron bars up, bam, in the inventory. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I, I can't get inside there from outside, so what I'm going to do is just simply use my frames to uh, shimmy up to the top here. Back up to the top. There we go. Grab up a couple. There we go. Nice and clean. And uh, what you want to do with your ramp frames is you want to go around the outside uh, facing out like this. Just kind of place them out ar around the outside. Uh, this allows you to run up onto the uh, iron... Uh, the the rails <laughs> starting to get late again here guys uh, iron bars yeah there we go I could not find that word in my head for the light uh, for the love of it uh, but here we go so we want to go around the outside uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do the corners here in a second um, I didn't make the rebar frames for the corner just because it's easier just to go ahead and make them on site uh, once you've got these in place okay cool so now that I've got those in place I'm gonna go to my crafting menu and in my crafting menu, I'm going to look up the concrete uh, pieces. 
and we're going to be looking for the concrete inner corner, the inside corner, this one right here. Uh, you want to make four of those up. Uh, now I don't recommend making like a lot of blocks this way because it uses up the twice amount of concrete and kind of it's kind of expensive. Uh, but once you once you uh, got these together, of course I got to switch it out for my auger here. Uh, once you got them together, uh, what you want to do is you want to place them in the corners uh, so that they face in that way. So you got two flat sides on the outside and then this one kind of finishes up the inside. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead, place these in, um, upgrade the outside of this, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, cool. Now that you got that done, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take your iron bars out here. Uh, you want to rotate it so that it's flat. It actually has two flats. You want to choose the first flat. Uh, just because it's easier, you can remember which one it is. Um, if you press it one more time, it actually goes to, it drops down just a tiny little bit like that. There you go, you can see it. And then uh, you'll have them at different distances if you if you forget about it. So by default, I always just go by the first one. I don't press it twice. Uh, so. This is a little tricky here. I, I, I really don't like edges either, uh, but it's nice and easy and you can reach it from here. Uh, you can go one or two around. It doesn't matter. Uh, it's up to you. I do prefer two. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do this all the way around my base so that we have spider defenses. And we also have a secondary way of attacking the zombies as well if you don't want to attack them from the inside. Uh, so I'm going to slap these bars up and uh, once again, guys, I'll meet up with you in a quick second. Okay, cool. So uh, we've got that done. Uh, we have it all the way around here, and uh, we're, we're awesome. We're looking good. Uh, now, these uh, concrete pillars are still drying, but they should be about done by this time. So uh, what you want to do is you want to go and you want to grab up your steel here. Definitely grab up all that steel. Uh, I'm going to have to take some of this stuff out of my inventory that I don't need. So much stuff. Hello, nighttime. All right, cool. Then you want to go and uh, you want to upgrade these steel... <laughs> See what I mean about the hole, guys? There's one right here. I totally forgot to put uh, one more cross member in there. I'm going to have to come back and finish that, finish that one up later. Uh, but here, we'll go back up to the top. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, cool. Uh, we can actually do this from the inside. We don't have to be on the outside here. Uh, so let's go inside and uh, upgrade these poles to steel. Just like that, and there you go. Now you have the highest tier block in the game. Uh, it doesn't matter what size these are, these could be a steel pole. Um, they have the same amount of HP in them. Uh, so there we go, guys. So upgrade all these all with steel, and uh, I'll see you once I'm done. Looks like I got some company already, and I'm nice and safe on the inside here. I have to get rid of these guys. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Alright guys, welcome back. Well, that ended up being an all-nighter. Like, uh, wow, that was so many of them. I had to go out there and clean them all up too. There were so many bodies laying around. Uh, but yeah, that was about 30 or 40 zombies that night. It took me all night to clear that. But this base even held up, guys, without its own spikes and me just killing them through the bars. Um, as you can see, they did some damage to the base, but it's, it's actually not that bad at all. Let me get my inventory organized again. Uh, I was using it to uh, kill them all, so... <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to upgrade all the uh, all the steel. I just spent all night doing that crap. Oh, look, we still have a, a pharaoh here wandering around. Well, here's a good chance to show you guys how you can uh, attack them. You just stay a couple blocks back and hit them in the head, just like this. Because usually if you put enough spikes out, their legs are broken by the time they get to you, and they can't really do much, right? They just sit there and kind of take the beating. There we go. Nice. Now I'm going to have to get rid of this guy, too. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take that. Sniper parts are always good. I don't want to go back outside, so I'm going to clean them up here. I almost forgot what stage I was at of doing this uh, build here. Uh, so yeah, of course, uh, go uh, go ahead and um, upgrade these all to steel. Um, do some repairs if you have to, if you do, you're just like me and you just took on like a 30 horde. Um, I was laughing because I have a best base video that's almost this exact same design. And in it, people are like, oh, that's not going to hold past like the day 28 horde. And it's like, <laughs> guys... I tried, tested, and true without even steel this thing held up against that insanely huge horde. And there is ferals and cops and it wasn't a small like little horde of a bunch of like nurses. It was a bunch of the tough ones. Uh, but without any more ado here, I'm not going to upgrade any more of these because you, you guys get the point. You just go around and upgrade the outsides. Um, our next step is to actually, before you do anything else, you want to make yourself uh, an easy way in and out of this base. 
Uh, so what, I, what you want to do is you want to find which direction you want your exit to be in. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to be choosing south. And of course, take your digging tool out. Slap that in my inventory right there. Take that out. And I usually like to line it up with the middle of the base too, aesthetic-wise. Aesthetic I think that's the middle. Uh, you can always tell by doing this. There we go. Yeah, that's the middle. Okay, cool, we're good. And then you can go out uh, whichever distance you want. Uh, for this uh, for this tutorial, uh, this is not how I'm going to do mine. I'm going to have it attached to underground to my main base. Uh, so there's not going to be an entrance. Uh, oh, you know what? Actually, I should put an entrance in nearby as well, too. That would actually make a lot of sense if you're close to this thing uh, to jump into it when you're close by. Uh, so good, I'm going to actually make this permanent then. Okay, cool. So I want it to be about this far back, and I'm going to go two blocks out. Uh, oh, okay, it's right where these spikes are. Cool. Uh, you want to make it past your spikes as well, too. I don't know how far you guys want to do your spike fields, but uh, try to get it past your spike field. You don't want to be popping up into your spikes. Uh, but here we go. So uh, there you go. Just put a few blocks up here, and then get your ladders out, uh, of which I only have two. I definitely need more of those. I need four. And build a couple more here. We'll get some more ladders going. I always do wood ladders because the metal ones are just too expensive, and there's really no uh, there's really no positive to the metal ones, right? Like other than the zombies crush the wood ones faster. But other than that, yeah, it has like real no no purpose. Uh, so uh, what I'm gonna do around the uh, hole here too as well, uh, just for extra reinforcement. So I'm gonna take these spikes out. There we go. I'm going to dig one block all the way around and build like a boxed in frame for it. Uh, now, of course, I'm going to have to make my hatch and put my hatch on top of here so they can't get back in. Uh, but that's part for the game. I'm, I'm sure you guys have figured that out by now. Uh, I'm going to make a steel hatch for it. Cool. Uh, I'll get back in here. Cool. Okay, there we go. Uh, so there you go. Now you have an entrance into the base. Uh, you guys know how to finish it off. Just uh, upgrade the frames, uh, put your hatch on top, and you have a way in and out. Uh, so I'm going to finish this up, guys, and then I'm going to show you how to do the wood spikes. And uh, you guys have pretty much finished up uh, finished up your base. Like this, this is all there is to it, guys. Nothing too special, nothing too crazy. Um, it's just a matter of time uh, putting all the materials together to build it. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'll meet up with you in one second here, once I got this all done. Okay, cool. So I'm all upgraded. Uh, I'm all together here. I got the top done. I got uh, the vault hatch in. Uh, so now all you get left to do is put your wood log spikes out. Uh, these don't do nearly as much damage as the wood spikes do, uh, but they last a lot longer. This is why I like the, to keep these ones near the base. Uh, now, I heard a lot of people say make a ramp up so that they walk up onto top of these, but honestly, guys, I've never seen the zombies hit the side of these. Um, the crawlers walk up and then they go on top of them. I've never actually seen them sit there and hit them. Uh, so I, I think that's just more of like uh, maybe an old thing on PC. I, I've never uh, encountered it myself. Uh, so I don't bother doing it. Uh, I just leave them open like this. They're easy to repair from underneath anyways. Uh, but uh, there we go. So you want to fill up the entire top area with your wood logs. Uh, try not to place them in the wrong spots. I don't even think I have an axe on me. I uh, do not. Okay. Uh, how much damage does the shovel do to this? Not very much. <laughs> Cool. Uh, so I'm going to come along here and clean this up later. Um, all these spikes I put on on the outside. Uh, I think I'm just trying to get this done here way too fast. And then uh, we'll go underneath and we'll actually go ahead and upgrade them. Uh, now, I'm going to use my uh, my nail gun, of course. Uh, but once, if you do have a hammer, get that sucker out. Bam, let's close that. Okay, cool. So all you do is simply you come underneath, you look straight up, and you hold the button down. Oh, I don't have any damn iron on me. <laughs> oh, yes, and uh, to avoid wasting any um, any concrete or any steel, uh, go ahead and take that out of your inventory. I totally should have done that first. Let's go back up here. Uh, we'll take care of that. You know what? I'm not even going to go that way. I'll go around this way. These spikes, so uh, they, they, they're still working on the hitboxes for the spikes. I, I think they're still way too sensitive. You can get so close to them so quickly. Alright, cool. So we'll get rid of those. Uh, get rid of any steel I have on me because I don't want to waste the steel. I definitely need the wood and I definitely need... 
Uh, the iron, where did I put that? I think it's in this one here. Yeah, here it is. And iron. You're going to need lots and lots of iron as well, too, to upgrade these all the way to the, uh, the fully upgraded blocks. Uh, but let's go back here, and uh, we'll go down and finish this off if I don't kill myself getting through here. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh, I'm bleeding out. Let me take some health kit here. This is so handy to have. <laughs> and then I hit another one on my way down. Jeez, I think I kill myself more in this game than the zombies do, honestly. Uh, so cool. Uh, so getting back to upgrading these suckers, um, all you do is literally just kind of go row from row and hold your button down until it doesn't upgrade anymore. Um, you'll see it go shiny and then the stage after shiny is your fully upgraded um, spike. So there you go, that's how you do it. So all you need to do is go like this, place your spikes down all the way across the top and then come upgrade them all. Uh, now uh, if you are fighting disease or you're trying to replace these and you don't want to go outside and try to brave all the spikes, um, you just come underneath here and upgrade these spikes just like this. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and get this entire uh, entire thing finished up guys and I'll see you once I'm done that. Okay guys and we are all done. We got all our spikes out, uh, we got the initial base done. Uh, I put some spotlights out here so that you can see the spotlight actually travels through the building. Uh, the best thing to do is put them low like this because if you put them up high, cops can actually spit and hit them. And you definitely don't want that to happen. Uh, so, <laughs> I had to lean in a little closer to my mic, I was uh, too far away. Uh, so I have also done the angle block as well too. If you're up here and uh, you're, you're fighting off uh, cop zombies, uh, what you can do is duck down in behind here when they spit. Uh, so that the spit doesn't get you. So that's why I did the ramp as well too. So I hope that helps you guys out. Um, I definitely hope this tutorial helps you guys out maybe a little bit more in understanding and basic uh, defense uh, design. Uh, now what we're going to use this on our, our multiplayer map is I'm actually going to turn this into our forage area. I have some digging to do. I have to meet up to a tunnel over in that direction uh, to go into the main base. And yeah, so now we have an official forge room and this will attract all the screamers and everything over here uh, so that we don't have to do nearly the amount of maintenance on the main base anymore. And the main base is still well defended, uh, but we're going to do out here as well too. Uh, now you can expand uh, the spikes out as far as you want, uh, throw in some uh, barbed wire if you want to on top of the spikes or uh, barbed wire fences to slow them down. Uh, that's all up to you, maybe multiple entrances if you want. Uh, but that pretty much wraps that up, guys. Uh, I want to thank you again for uh, coming out and checking out the video, for all your likes and your comments. And uh, stay surviving, guys. Stay classy and peace. Turn it on, turn it on.